pick me up when I threw that pick. Appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah, I went to the well too many times on CJ. Good. You good to go? All right. Yeah. All right, this is a press conference here for your call football, first ever game of your call football. Power defeated Grit 20 to 12. Uh, we're joined now by Brian Bennett. Uh, Brian, you came in first quarter when BJ went down. Your first play was a touchdown run. Yep. What was it like getting that call, getting that run? How did it make you feel comfortable? Well, once I got the call in, I was like, okay. I, mean, I know we got a chance right here. We're, we're pretty close. If I get the, the read that, you know, to pull it that, you know, I got to get this thing in the end zone. <laughs> so sure enough, I get the read that to, to pull it and, uh, you know, got in the end zone. And that's a great way to start. An incredibly exciting game. It was. Your thoughts when your teammate makes that interception, runs it down oh, 72 man. yards to give you guys a chance to win. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, kinda, he saved us, but that's what a team does, right? You know, we pick each other up when, when, when the other side falls, the defense comes up. Defense falls, offense come up, and that's, you know, it's a good team. Not a lot of people know it. We talked about it on the broadcast, but you were actually in practice this past week running routes as a wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, I was. Um, you know, I've, I've always been an athlete, um, and, I, you know, I always hear the, the more you can do. So run some routes, play some quarterback, been long snapping on field goals, and, you know, I really love playing the game, and I just want an opportunity. So. You know, they said BJ was going to get the go this week, mm -hmm. so I said, hey, let me do what I can do to get on the field and see if I can help out in that way. And last thing, this was the first time that you were able to get hit at quarterback yeah. during the game. Um, fans calling the plays, just what was the experience like? It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's been a while since I've got to go out there and play that many consecutive plays. And, um, you know, I love to compete. That's why I play the game. And it, just going out there and getting to do that was, was awesome. Um, and yeah, it's a great experience, and I'm really excited about what we have going on here. Well, congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Khalid. What's going on, Khalid? Hi, Doug. Next up is uh, Khalid Wooten, who had the, uh, you could say, the game saving play, that interception, returning it down. Um, what was what was going through your mind when you saw that that play called and, and knew where you were? Well, it looked, it looked different. It looked kind of fishy out there. Um, as I had my eyes in the backfield, I saw the KJ, the one that threw it. He was bubbling. He was getting upfield. You know, as instincts, we had to make a play. I look back and I see the quarterback coming out. I'm like, oh, it's coming in. <laughs> and I just see, look, look up. I see the ball thrown. I got it. And I thought I scored. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I thought I scored. I thought I my fit, feet in and bounds. But... You no, know, it is what it is. Uh, Power came out with the W, and uh, like you said, like B said, you know, we pick up, we pick up where we left off, and they were down. We had to make a big play at de defense, and I'm glad I made it. Just to let you know, you did step out. It was it was a real call. <sighs> okay. Um. So so you were out, but you made the huge play. Does any of your teammates? Do you think any of your teammates in the locker room will give you a little trouble because the tight end caught you? No, they won't give me trouble. <laughs> Even they said that I scored. So. <laughs> You know, it is what it is, but I'm, you know, I'm just happy you came with the W, you know, the first, you know, the first official game yeah. of your call football, and I'm glad it came down like this. Tight games, fun to play, and fans really starting to enjoy it. What, what was it like being a defensive guy? Because we talk so much about offense, with the mm -hmm. fans calling the offensive plays, but what about as a defensive guy, having to go up against what the fans I like call? it. It's more like a, uh, it's a challenge. Yeah. You know, we don't know what they're running, but they pretty much know what we're running. Right. So it's kind of a challenge of who get, who's going to beat the person in front of you, and I like it, and that's why we came here to do to compete. All right, well, Khalid Wooten had that game-saving play, set up the touchdown. Thanks yes, for joining us. We take the Gatorade too, right? Uh, no. Yeah, take, take that one. <laughs> All right, next up will be uh, head coach Mike Sherman, the head coach for Team Grit. Coach, thank you. Yep. All right, Coach, um, we heard you talk to Jen Hale post-game about that, that play, um, that trick play. So the fans called it for you, putting that option in there in the bundle. Was it nerve wracking to do that? Well, you know, the other two plays, uh, the ones I, I liked, right. let, let's face it, if that thing connected, 
uh, it would have been a heck of a way to win that football game. So I, I don't fault the fans. They may they took a shot, and uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So uh, I don't think it was a bad call. We would have preferred they were in man coverage because they wouldn't cover the backer, wouldn't cover the quarterback. But they were in zone coverage. The safety was down that way, and uh, it wasn't probably the best of calls that we could have picked on that down and distance. Overall, the experience, um, you – Picking the bundles, seeing what the fans did. They called a lot more runs for you this week than they did in the scrimmage. A few more, not as many as I would like. <laughs> I wish we ran the ball a little bit more, but uh, I thought uh, Powell ran the ball very well, and uh, I thought that was a difference. Um, the other difference, obviously, was the takeaways. Our, when they took the ball away from us, they put points on the board uh, a couple of occasions there, and so that certainly made a difference in the ball game. How about KD, uh, what he did when he came in the game? Did a great job. I thought he took command of the game from the onset and uh, did a really nice job. And uh, he did have that one pick, but uh, uh, I thought he, he took charge, did, did a real nice job, real proud of him. And, and overall, now that this whole thing, I mean, you've set up the whole training camp, got these guys ready, you've split the teams up. Now that it was official, what was it finally like? Well, I mean, it, it's very frustrating on the sideline. I've got to be honest with you. You can't call the plays you want to call against the courages you want to call against. But, uh, you know, when you give the fans an option, you give a man option, a zone option, and a run, or two runs in a uh, in an option pass that hopefully is good versus man end zone. So you kind of hope that they, ta they, they take the play that you want, but it doesn't always work out that way. And I'm sure when I call games, uh, I didn't always pick the play they wanted. So uh, it's kind of payback time, I think. Hey, you know what? It's Thursday. There's no Friday morning quarterbacking for you. You know, you're, you're all set. Nobody can ask any questions. I think people will second guess giving them the option to throw the quarterback throwback will be second guessed. Yeah. So, uh, but that's okay. It made for an exciting game, certainly. And uh, uh, obviously the uh, grit wanted to, wanted to win it, but uh, they showed some true grit out there coming back uh, and tying the game uh, after not having a great first half. Yeah, absolutely. Coach, thank you. Appreciate right. it. Yes, sir. Katie, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good. Good. All right, joined now by Katie Humphreys, uh, quarterback for Team Grit. Uh, Katie, asking about that that play that led to the interception. What was your reaction when you saw that was the play call? Uh, man, I just thought that it was a chance for me, you know, to go up and make a play. You know, um, you know, uh, hats off to um, Wu. Uh, made a tremendous play, you know. Uh, but I think it was a great play call, you know. I was I had a chance to show off my hands, you know, but man, he just made a tremendous play. You were a difference maker when you came in for the second half. You guys were down twelve nothing entering the fourth quarter. What was it for you that seemed to click? Um, I, I knew that the guys would would rally around me, you know, uh, just just giving a, a new life to the um, offense, you know, coming in after half, you know, uh, so. Just, just trying to get get a fresh start in there, you know, and just move the ball, you know, one play at a time. That's what I always tell my guys, you know, one play at a time, you know, it doesn't matter what happens, man, next play, play the next play. So there is a play, uh, fourth and 10 from the 30. That was the first touchdown for you guys. Coach wanted one play called. The fans called the play that you ended up running, and you threw that touchdown to Eric Wallace. What was that? What was that like for you? Uh, that was a great call by the fans, you know, <laughs> thank you, thank you fans, you know, uh, man, you know, um, you know, last week in the scrimmage, you know, had some great play calls by the fans, you know, I must be living life right, you know, uh, <laughs> man, the fans keep giving me good play calls, man, these guys up front, they keep on doing an excellent job up front, you know, protecting me and those guys out wide, man, just keep making plays. Yeah. Overall experience, how much fun was it? Man, it was total. Total, totally fun. You know, uh, man, you can't get no no better than that. You know, a game like that, fun field, you know, first ever York All football game, you know, man, to, for it to go down in the ending like that, man, you can't ask for nothing better. Well, Katie, appreciate you joining us. Thank you. See you next week. Yes, sir. All right, next up will be the head coach of Team Power, Merrill Hodge. <laughs> Coach, how are Can you? Start off and thank the fans for that amazing <laughs> flea flicker play pick. Thank you. <laughs> what a terrific job by the fans. <laughs> Thanks we, for getting us back in it. We were saying on the air when they ran that play, I thought for sure that they were going to run something just conservative. So when you saw that, that play being called and run, what was going through your mind? 
Well, actually, I've been trying to get it called. I tried to get it called twice yep. in my in my bundle package, and they never they never called it. Um, so when he got it called, I was actually going, that's exactly what I was trying to get called. And then when I saw that the, our defense wasn't fooled by it, I was just like, oh, my <laughs> gosh, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, you talk about <laughs> the change of energy on wow. our sideline. I was. Um, what I would like to know is what was the coach's – it selection. wasn't that. It, it wasn't, wasn't that. that. <laughs> no, I, I didn't think. I, wanted, I bet you he he picked Dodger Town. If you, were, I think that's what he would have picked. If I know Mike, he would have picked Dodger Town. He's a little safer. Yeah, it's a little safer because I called it, and that's what our fans called Dodger Town. Okay, and that's when Tommy came in, mm -hmm. and he ran the option. Yep, he could rather run the option or throw it. It's a little safer trick play. The formation's supposed to fool him. So, so this whole experience, we've spoken beforehand. Yeah. Um, the, the fans called a lot of run plays. Your balance, run, pass, option was really, really good. Yeah. What was your takeaway from it? Well, I, you know, it's kind of funny. Our, our fans were, um, I don't know if we recruited a bunch of running fans because there was a couple plays where I had two passes and a run. I was trying <laughs> to get a pass, actually, yeah. and they called the run every time. And I was like, and then uh, Tom Rosley kept coming down. And he, goes, I, I, he goes, have you run a double acute or the acutes? I'm like, Tom, I'm calling them. I'm like, but I can't call that play. I can just give a suggestion. <laughs> and they were calling the, they called the runs the three times that we tried to do that. But we actually were running the ball really well. Our, our offensive line got a little tired in the second half, but in the first half they were – they were dominant when it mattered when we got down to scoring territory. How about B.J. Daniels going down? What's what's the health of him status? Well, I don't know exactly what he's, you know, you know, he was bad enough he couldn't play. Yeah. Um, how, how he'll be after that, I don't know. Um, but that, I mean, he's a difference maker. Yeah. You know, the, you know, Brian, though, I got to give him a lot of credit, came in and, you know, filled in really well, especially when he scored that touchdown. I just don't know if I can – Articulate how difficult that really is when you haven't played. You got to come in the red zone now, and you clearly I can't control, you know, play mm -hmm. for him to kind of help him get eased into the game, and um, he ends up scoring a touchdown, you know, and uh, did a, just a great job for us in a, in a critical moment. And never played, but you know, played well. He did his, he did his job, you know, and he didn't the one pick. We could have been talking differently about that towards <laughs> yeah. the end, but the uh, the fans with the uh, Lee Flicker got us back in it, baby. We do have a question from Twitter, and it's pretty relevant given the game, and it came in actually uh, early. Um, and it was it was meant to be for both coaches, and it's from uh, C Guma ninety nine. Uh, what's your favorite trick play to run? Um, obviously, the end of the game was a bit of a gadget play. Right. And it, it, it actually would have been the one different. that got us back in it. Yeah. That's what I was trying to run. Now, I, there's a better time to run that. See, we were in zone coverage. That's not a good time. See, that's there's where the fans could learn that that's a better that's a better play call trick play if they're playing man because they don't account for the quarterback and that's why he gets lost. If you're playing zone like they were or we were, you no, know, you know you got an area of responsibility, so you don't get fooled as much. You're not chasing some guy you're covering. So that would be the ideal play if they were playing man, but not if they're playing zone which they were playing zone, and that's what got them. And on Facebook with the hashtag YCF postgame, um, Pete Merrill wanted to know, is there a difference in the will to win? Obviously, there was a lot of excitement in the game tonight. Players are coming out to play. From the NFL, from your days as a player, to, to your call football when the fans are calling the plays. From your standpoint and the player's standpoint, is there any difference in the will to win? I can attest to this. Absolutely no difference. When I step on that field, I'm going to tell you this. We want to win. When we went through that pick, uh, I can't even tell you how you want to implode. That we just probably cost us the game, you know. So, all oh, the will to win is significant. You can tell by the players. I mean, it is a significant will to win out there. Great, thanks, coach. I bet you. I have to ask just one last question. That interception. I asked Khalid this. You think any of the guys will give him any any trouble that he got run down by a tight end? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, we, they'll ride, we'll ride him all week. Uh, I'm going to be part of that posse. I'm going to ride him too. Maybe we'll do a drill where the tight ends run together and see if he can catch him or stay with them. You know, maybe we'll do something like that for conditioning. Well, I tell you what, a 20 to 12 victory uh, is pretty exciting. Congratulations. Thanks for joining us. You betcha. Thank you, guys. All right, that'll wrap things up here on Facebook Live. Thank you, guys. Thank you. you guys have a couple good endings on the. I'm, I,